Hi, welcome back. I'm Mangesh and I'm conducting lecture on Unix commands. Uh, we have uh, started some basic commands of Unix which are getting used in production. And in our previous video, we have learned CD command, MKDI command, then touch command also. So let me open that uh, terminal. Uh, let me increase the size of my font. I'll go to my properties here. I'll get the option to increase the font of my terminal. Uh, history command will tell me what are the uh, commands I have done practice till now. So I can see here MKDR uh, till now I have done the practice till touch one. Okay, so control L is a shortcut key to clear the terminal. PWD will tell you you are currently in which directory. I am available under this directory. See right now I'm in Mangesh directory. Under home, there is a Mangesh directory. LS, these are the files are present in Mangesh directory. I wanted to know what are the files are present in that uh, Suresh directory. And, but I am in Mangesh directory. But still, you can use LS command like this. You can see what are the folders are present under home directory. You can see what are the folders are present under home, Mangesh, and there is a RAM. So RAM is an empty directory. So you will not see anything there. Instead of RAM, try and check ABC. In under ABC, you can see one more folder. So you can try such kind of logic on your terminal also. So please do practice at all at your uh, terminal and get hands on knowledge on these commands. Uh, LS, I will uh, complete uh, entire command in this video. But before that, let's have some practice on touch command also. Touch command will use to create an empty file in Unix. So, okay, in same directory, if I want to create an empty file, then touch I will use uh, Mangesh, Ramesh, Suresh. So I have given space, so it will create three files, Mangesh, Ramesh, and Suresh. Let me enter. Look at this. All these files are created. Now it is alphabetically sorted. So I can see Mangesh, Ramesh, and uh, Suresh file is not created because Suresh names direct uh, Suresh names. There is a one directory is already present with the with this name. So it uh, only created Mangesh and Ramesh. Those files. <coughs> I'm sorry. So touch command will help you to create a empty files in Unix. Why it is empty file through cat command also you can try and open that. You will not find any kind of data under Ramesh. Why? Because it is empty. And same with the help of cat, if I'll put abc.txt, whatever matter under abc.txt, it will get printed here. Look at this. So cat command is used to open that file. Whatever matters are available in that file, you can easily view it. But people will ask me if I'll do cat and then directory name, obviously it will not open because it's a directory. Directory, you cannot open like a file. You can execute, you can enter into it. If you want to access Suresh directory, cd Suresh, you can go to that directory. Like right? Suresh is an empty directory, there is nothing under Suresh. So now uh, let's have a practice on a touch command more. Right, right now I'm in this directory under Mangesh and I want to create a uh, empty file under Suresh directory, Suresh. So what is my command? I will use touch, okay, hyphen P under Suresh. I want to create one file and file name is xyz.txt. So hyphen P, what will do? It will grant that Suresh is a parent directory. Under Suresh, you need to create this empty file. See, uh, hyphen P is showing invalid option for this. Uh, let me try with my entire path under home. Mangesh, we have a Suresh folder and under this I need to create this one. So now directory is created. I'm doing ls. I'm not seeing xyz.txt is here. Why? Because you are in Mangesh directory, not in Suresh. And you have created that file in Suresh directory. So you need to do like this ls home Mangesh Suresh. And that empty file is present over there. If I want to open that one, then cat, I will give the entire path also home, Mangesh, Suresh, and xyz.txt. Though it is a empty, so reason it is not printing. Okay. So in this way, you can create an empty file. Uh, the If you are uh, giving some space, so it will create a multiple files. We just seen in our previous example. Let me go to the history. I have entered this command. Touch Mangesh Ramesh Suresh. Suresh directory is already exist in that uh, directory. So this file is not created, but these two files are created separately. If there are a space, then it will take it will create multiple files. But I want to create a one file including space. 
so what i need to do is touch <clears throat> ram space ram so now this is one file actually ram ram isn't done okay if you want to open that file similar way you need to enter like this then and then only you'll be able to now this file is empty you cannot see any details from this file so this logic if you want to give any file name with space in the such way you need to try same for uh, directory also mkdir now let me use srk amir it will create two different directories srk and amir look at this uh, ls minus lrt we will see later after uh, end of this video uh, but look at this ls you can see amir folder is here and srk folder is here but i want to create both folder together i want space between both name so mkdir srk and amir now look at this ls this folder is also created here this entire is a one folder if you want to access that one then we, again you need to use srk space amir like this look at your directory you are currently in that directory srk amir okay uh, for ls command i am creating a new video because under ls command you have multiple attributes then uh, there are some similar questions comes in uh, ls command also and these are the commands which we need to use mostly in the production it's daily daily use command so try and make hands on practice on these commands uh, if you are do, if you are facing any kind of error then check it what kind of wrong action you are doing on this because like this uh, i am entering cd uh, mangesh i am not able to go to that directory why because that directory is not present here you are in different directory if you want to go to the mangesh put entire path like this home mangesh why my mangesh directory is there in, under my home directory like this ls water fi fi uh, files water folders like directories are here with the help of cd i can go to their only <coughs> i'm sorry abc like this pwd ls here i have a xyz then i can go to xyz like this pwd i am in this directory so to go back to the previous directory cd space dot dot i can use see i came in my abc directory plus cd space dot dot look at now pwd so try the practice in that way and uh, i wanted to tell you one more command that is a rm command rm command mostly used to delete the files and directories from unix so let's have some discussion on rm command uh, before that we will have discussion on rm dir which used to delete the empty directories only under my uh, home directory we have a mangesh directory here i have multiple files and folder now with the help of rm dir i am going to delete this abc rm dir abc this command used to delete empty directories only but it is saying this is not empty directory you cannot delete this directory now which is a empty directory this srk and amir this is a empty directory empty directory means what there is nothing present under that directory we have a similar empty folders in unix you will not save any kind of files and folder in that folder i'll show you in desktop uh, let me go to this I am in the download folder, SQL folder. Here I am going to create one uh, folder. Now this is my empty folder. Under this I don't have anything. To delete such kind of folders, so, so to delete such kind of directories in Unix, rmdir command will come in the picture. So rmdir uh, that SRK Amir. I will press enter. Now see ls that directories deleted it will delete permanently okay there is no recycle bin to get that data again but in production we have a backup team also if unfortunately you will lose any kind of data there is a backup team is sitting uh, the, for recovery purpose also but if you are doing practice on ubuntu then you will not file find uh, that file again so it's permanently deleted recycle bin option available only in windows i want to delete file rmdir ramesh I won't be able to because rmdir command only made for the empty directories only. So this command we will not use in production because it has a very uh, restrictions. It will only delete empty directories. But what about those directories which are not empty? 
what about those files which are not empty so for such kind of scenarios rm command comes in the picture okay so i'll type rm command here first rm okay in small letter actually uh it used to delete files files i'll my spelling mistake is here okay rm hyphen r it used to delete directories okay and there are some options also available under rm so rm hyphen f which used to forcefully delete forcefully delete files okay. rm hyphen rf okay this used to delete directories forcefully delete directories and files also rm hyphen r will delete files also and directories as well but through rm you can only delete the files let's uh, try and do it practically uh, i have some files available in, in this rm i want to delete this file ramra so i'll give rm see now do ls that file is deleted uh, previously it was asking uh, option do you really want to delete yes no so i was using yes y option to delete it okay and it was uh, deleting the file but right now uh, in uh, latest version it, it is not asking the yes and no option it will directly remove the files from the terminal from the operating system so you can use rm hyphen f for forcefully so it will be same like uh, this command it won't ask you any options yes or no i want to delete this file one file one deleted look at this now i want to delete this folder suresh rm hyphen r i need to use because i'm going to delete the directory now no? so suresh that suresh is deleted see okay uh see guys rm command we have learned how to use it now i want to delete entire data from this directory pwd so i will use rm star everything got deleted but i have used rm command so it has deleted only files not directory so if you, you, you ls you can see directories are still present here oh so i want to delete directories as well now okay leave it uh, what we'll do is we will enter in amir directory and i want to create some files because i want to uh, show you some logic also so here let me create some file 1.txt 2.txt 3.txt 4.txt 5.txt uh, these are the files i have created then uh, touch one dot log two dot log three dot log four dot log five dot log see under SR, under amir directory you have created these are the files okay and uh, there are some text files i have just given the extension for my view this is for my purpose only unis doesn't care whether it is log file whether it is text file so it is only for my view purpose i have given the extension because touch command we will gonna create only files if you want to create a folder you will use like mkdir a b c d e f g i have created some folder also see at the end these are the folders i have created now my question is i want to only delete log files i don't want to touch text files and i don't want to touch that directories so what i need to do i will use rm hyphen r it is for directory but i want to delete files now so rm i will use star dot txt it means what it will delete only txt file no i want to delete only log file so i will use rm star dot log so it has deleted all the log files from that directory see after ls i can see only these files one two three now i want to delete all the directories rm hyphen f if you put star it will delete files and directories both but what i said i want to delete the directories only okay so i need to press a b c d e all the directories name 
then and then only i'll show you if i'll do <coughs> i'm sorry uh, ls i'm putting rm hyphen r and i'll put star it will delete files also and directories also see now this directory is empty oops i want to delete actually if you want to delete the directories then use that directory's name all directories but you don't have any kind of pattern like previously you got the pattern like star dot log so uh, where where log name is contained all that files got deleted but here you have not used any kind of uh, pattern which you want to delete and there is no su 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 sufficient pattern for this uh, directories let's create one more uh, directories uh, with the help of mkdr i can create directories man1 man2 man3 man4 man5 okay mkdr okay a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 okay so under this i have multiple uh, directories a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 and man so i want to delete those directories whose name starting with man so i will use rm hyphen and let me have some foot, uh, files also in it no problem man man no. i'll give another name otherwise it will delete these files also so one dot txt two dot txt three dot txt so under this i have multiple files and directors available and my question is i want to delete only files which name starting oh sorry i want to delete only file uh, directories which name starting with man so look at my command and logic now rm hyphen r man star see this so you have successfully deleted the directories whose name starting with man so rm will come in the picture to delete the files and directories please make a note of it and this command is very important in production because see if your file system is full in windows what you're doing you're going to your uh, pc and this drive is full what usually we do we move the data from this uh, drive to another drive or we will remove the unwanted files which i don't want okay similar way uh, you can do the same thing but here we have a command if you want to move the files uh, we will learn mv and cp command in the next chapter after ls command but if you want to delete the files then rm command will come in the picture the files which you don't want with the help of rm you can delete it rm for files rm hyphen r for directory so in the way you can do the practice of rm command thanks for watching this video in next video i will cover the ls command only